What's going on, family? Well, we are here on Easter Sunday, guys. Get, get, get. We're here on Easter Sunday. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody had a great Easter. Um, you know what, guys? Crappy, crappy, crappy. I'll tell you what. Um, we are. I want to let. I'm gonna. Hopefully, there is a. There may not be a bigger audience jump in today because of Easter, but there, there still may be. But we are very, very, very close to 88 thousand subscribers on the 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 channel guys we are about i want to say 35 subscribers away so we're going to have our normal giveaway tonight our normal giveaway we're going to give away some acc crappie stick snacks right here two packs two of my favorite colors we got the uh hammered black and chartreuse and then we have the old faithful which is the monkey milk. We're going to give away two packs of those. Now, I'm going to put a little incentive in there for you guys, all right? The incentive is, if we can hit 88,000 subscribers on this live stream, I'm going to give away two more packs at the end of this live stream. So we got about an hour or so. First thing I would do if I was you is I would check to see if you have that subscribe button hit yourself. Um, some of us, you know, get sidetracked. You know, we we watch videos and we don't realize that we even have that subscribe button hit. So there's there's 92 people on here right now. If we can have if 35 guys, if 35 of you are not subscribed, then boom, there you go. There's the extra giveaway. But I will be saying that a couple of times throughout this live stream. So we will be having the normal giveaway. We're going to give away two packs of ACC crappie stick snacks. If we hit 88,000 subscribers during this live stream, then I will give away two more packs of ACC crappie stick snacks. We need 35 subscribers, guys. So if you're with somebody in the room, tell them to go to 903 Fishing on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button. We need about 35 subscribers to hit 88,000. Now, live question and answer, guys. Like always, you know what? I, I I do this live stream for you guys because there's not many fishing YouTubers that go live on a consistent basis that people watch and that people want to talk to and ask them questions. I am here to help you in any way that I can. If you have any questions, drop it in the comment section live question and answer right here for you guys. If you're watching this on the replay, you can still drop a question in the comments or comment on this video. I still see those comments. Now, it just won't be a live response, but I'm going to do what I can to help you guys. Um, if I don't know the answer, then I'm just going to tell you I don't know because I'm not going to sit here and feed you some, you know, something that's not going to help you or just stuff that doesn't matter. So, Live question and answer. Um, I really enjoy these live streams, guys, every Sunday. And we're here for another one tonight. Last week, we had a great live stream, great questions asked. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of people learned a lot last week. And hopefully we can repeat that tonight as well. Um, if you haven't, smash that like button. We need 115 likes on this live stream. Um that is our goal, 115 likes, guys. Um, also, share the live. That is how you can help grow this channel. Guys, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. And, you know, we, we have a lot of uh, new subscribers on the channel right now. Ha over the past week, two weeks, the channel has really grown, two or 3,000 subscribers. So if this is your first live stream that you're on, let me know in the comment section. I want to welcome you in here uh, personally. So let me know if this is your first live stream. Go ahead and check in as well. Let me know where you're from. How did you hear about the 903 Fishing Channel? I'm going to get to these comments and, you know, periodically I'm going to check those subscribers to see if we are getting close to that 88,000 subscriber mark. Um, let's see how many we need. 
We need 33, 33 subscribers, guys, to hit 88,000 tonight for an extra giveaway tonight. A little incentive for you guys, okay? We need 33 subscribers. So let's get it, guys. Um, Sir Chad, what's going on? Thanks for sharing your story. Thanks for being on here tonight. Andy Bass is a channel member. Always a pleasure to have you on here, Andy. Happy Resurrection Day to everyone as well. Like I said, Easter live stream right here. Today is actually my dad's birthday. It's Papa 903's birthday today. And I have a special video coming out Tuesday. Gilmer Missionary Baptist Church is on here. What's going on? Happy Resurrection Day to you as well, Andy. Digging with Pop. How's it going? Uh, appreciate you for being on here. Outdoor Adventures is here as well. Digging with Pop has actually became a slab crappie member. Thank you so much for uh, being a channel member. Um, guys, it's free to subscribe. That is support right there. I do appreciate it. But if you want to support the channel in um, other ways, if you want to help produce more content to the channel, then you can become a channel member like Digging with Pop Pop is right here. Um, thank you so much, man. Welcome to the channel members. Okay. Um, you know, if you are a slab crappie member, keeper crappie member, or monster crappie member, you get a special shout out at the end of each video. Now, digging with Pop Pop, give me a couple of videos to get your name updated on there at the end. Okay. So, but it's coming. But thank you for being a channel member. Jasmine Rose is in the building. How's it going? Daddy Charlie is here. What's going on? Crappie Kev from Ashburn, Virginia. Fire Chief is here. Good evening on Easter Sunday. Hope everyone had a great Easter from Eastern Iowa. Murray McKenzie is a channel member from Lindale. Travis Bowling is here from Iowa. Kate Thom is here. What's going on, Kate Thom? Checking in tonight from Indiana, he says. Miss Stacy Peeler is a channel member. Thank you so much. Douglas McGraw is here. Tough day fishing, but a great day on the water. I love to hear it. Saint AT ATC fam, how's it going? Thanks for being on here. Uh, Rob Fox is on here. I don't know why he said Merry Christmas, but um, Team S Florida, how's it going, brother? Thanks for being on here, showing love. Uh, little Timmy is here. We got Brian T. How's it going? Mr. Bombtastic, haven't got your giveaway sent out yet, brother. It's coming. Busy week last week. Uh, wasn't here for a couple of days as well, but it's coming, my man. Mike Keller is here. Wisconsin is in the house. What's up, everyone? It's been a long time since I've been in here. Well, I appreciate you for being on here, Mike. Moon Outdoors is here from Ohio. David Cup, how's it going, brother? Always a pleasure. Uh, ben Brownlow says, are we really normal? Happy Resurrection Day. What's going on? Um, Greg Martinez is in the building. Uh, the side guru, man, you're, you're all about this road to one milli, dude. We hit a million subscribers. Man. We're, we're going to go crazy. Uh, really crazy. Lake is here. Hey boss, I've been doing a lot of fishing here lately, multiple days in a row. What's the best way to keep the fish overnight? And until I get back from fishing the second day, put them on ice, man. And when I mean on ice, I mean, I, I typically put my fish in the cooler and I put ice over the top of them. Now, you want those ice completely submerged and you want those crappie completely submerged in ice, okay? It doesn't have to be crappie, white bass, whatever you're fishing for, man. If they are completely submerged in ice, then they are fine to clean the next day. Typically, I wait a solid 12, 12, 18 hours before I clean my fish because when they're on ice, they're completely frozen the mess isn't as bad. It's not bad at all because all that blood circulation has stopped. And when you clean these fish, there's hardly any blood. So keep them on ice, man. Kelly Parks is here from Tennessee. How's it going? Corn fed experience. What's cracking, my man? Crawl Dad says 88K. Let's go. We're about 30 something away from it. We need to hit it tonight. Jerry Shepard is here from Ohio. How's it going? Little Deb Cakes, how's it going? Wesley Harden is a channel member. Appreciate you for being on here. Uh, Ricky, what's up? Padna from RC Outdoors, right across the lake at Toledo Bend. That's not too far from me. Darlene Miller is here. We got Sir Chad here from the 904. Wes Moody, how's it going from North Florida? 
Um, a little Timmy says, what are y'all catching bass on right now? I don't do much bass fishing if you're referring to largemouth bass. Um, my son caught quite a few bass this weekend on a, uh, it's a Guggen uh, crawl, crawl, so, some type of Guggen crawl bait, pl soft plastic. Bronson Cox is a channel member from North Georgia. Andy Bass says he shared several times. Thank you so much. Uh, Kentucky is in the house from Lil Deb. Um, there's Mama Hensley. Y'all be sure to say hello to him. Y'all be sure to wish Papa 903 a happy birthday. Like I said, um, he ain't doing any, he ain't doing nothing but getting younger, guys. Nothing but getting younger. Y'all be sure to say hello to him. Little Timmy's over there in Mount Pleasant. Jasmine Rhodes says hello from DFW. New account. Dropped my phone in Ocean on my trip to St. Thomas. So lost access to old account. No worries there, Jasmine. Thanks for being on here. Corn Fed Experience says, do you fish a double rig under a slip cord? If so, do you use loop knots on the top jig? I do, man. Uh, plenty of double jig uh, slip cord and videos on the channel. Um, and that top jig, I definitely tie a loop knot. Um, the bottom jig is just tied directly to the line, but that, that top, that top one, you don't want that jig on the line. You know, you want it kind of off of the line a little bit. I usually make mine about an inch or so, maybe a little less than an inch away from that main line. So it doesn't get tangled up in it. Uh, Alvila is here from Ennis, Texas. Gary, what's going on, Gary? Jesse's here from Italy, Texas. Cruz Garza is in the building. Little Deb's first live stream. That's awesome. Um, Little Timmy is here. He says he's from Mount Pleasant, goes to Hearts Bluff ISD. I actually coached at Hearts Bluff not too long ago, about five years ago. Uh, I saw a video for, from Pescano and Roger. He was catching crappie and white bass on a creek, says Jesus. Uh, Stuart Russell, what's going on from Lake Murray, South Carolina? Damien says, Tyler, Texas, baby, let's go. Uh, 903 Fishing is on the cover of a magazine called Life and Land. That is correct. Um, Digging with Pop Pop says, first live stream from Greenville, Texas. Not too far from me. Sir Chad says, this is my first. Uh, I love your fishing videos. Thank you all for being on here. If this is your first live stream, thank you all so much. We do this every Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, guys. We get on here and talk about fishing and uh, just about anything that's going on, really. Uh, first live stream from Moon Outdoors as well. Um, Roger is here. What's going on, Roger? Good evening, 903 family. I hope you guys are doing well. I go for my second chemo treatment in the morning. So if you will keep me in your prayers, thanks. He's from Alabama. Y'all be sure to have Roger in your prayers, guys. Trying to kick that cancer's butt. All right. Um, Y'all have him in your prayers. We're going to do prayer requests here very, very shortly. But go ahead and put Roger on there. 706 Outdoors, what's going on? Uh, Wayne is here from, I don't know how to say that, Bridge, Louisiana. Uh, Edward Jeffries over there in Brenham, Texas. Um, let's see here. Ben Browlow, happy birthday, Papa 903. Um, Colton from Burleson, Texas, and wanted the video I wanted the video with you and Mullet Man, and I have been hooked on your videos ever since, brother. That's awesome, dude. Uh, did you see? Did you see Mullet Man's video and, and came over to my channel? I'm just curious to see, you know, how that worked out. Aaron Cockrell, first live stream from Tyler, Texas. Uh, Kenneth is here. Have the crappie started moving back out deep yet? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. My fishing report right now is I wasn't here this week. I was I wasn't in Tyler this weekend. I was back home a couple of hours north and did some pond fishing, but for the but that's about it. Not much luck with the pond crappie. Um my son had a good day bass fishing. I will say that. But um I haven't been here. I haven't been out on the water in over a week. Last time I was waiting, I talked about this last Sunday. I really believe the crappie are done. Or they're on their last little hoo-ha. Um, I don't think the crappie will be shallow for much longer here in East Texas. Been catching them shallow for six weeks now. I think they're about done. Landon Burnett is here from mid-Missouri. Uh, mid 
Uh, East Texas Brotherhood over there in the 936. What's going on, Casey? Uh, Sam is here from Ohio. We got Courtney Stewart over there in Van, Texas, not too far. Wayne says this is his first live stream. Thank you so much, Wayne. Um, Stacy says she shared this to her Facebook. That's how we help grow the channel, guys. Brandon Mobley is here, new subscriber. First live stream. Sierra Price is here from Dallas. Uh, Tommy Holland, how's it going, Tommy? What's up? Uh, Jesse says, been with you since the beginning, brother. Keep slinging slabs. You got it, man. Um, hey, guys, I want to go ahead and do this. We got a you know, pretty big crowd in here. We are giving away some ACC crappie stick snacks, okay? Right here. We're giving away some ACC crappie stick snacks here a little bit later in this live stream. But right now we are 32 subscribers away from 88,000 subscribers. If we can get to that 88,000 subscriber mark on this live stream, before we get off this live stream, then I'm going to throw in an extra two packs and somebody else, we're going to have another winner on this giveaway tonight. We're going to have two winners instead of one. If we don't hit the 88,000, it's, it's okay. But I'm just trying to give you an incentive to really look and make sure you have that subscribe button hit. So that's what we're doing here. Reginald says, do you know the dimensions of the thumbnail? Brother, I do not. I don't know the exact dimensions. I'm pretty sure you can go to thumpgel.com, look at the thumbnail, and it, it's probably going to be on there, brother. But it's a big bag. It's not small. I would not consider it small, but, but it's not too big. I mean, to me, it's perfect size. Uh, I could fit 25 keeper crappie in there easy. And 25 big white bass in there as well. Fishing with Braden. What's going on, dude? Stephen Long is here. What's going on? Jasmine Rose has become a channel member again after creating her new account. So thank you so much, Jasmine. Uh, team Fishing, South Florida Fishing. During the summer months, is it better to go find deeper water or moving water? Crappie don't like moving water. Um, and from what I have learned. Crappie do not like moving water. No current, man. Um, I'm going to go deeper. I'm not going to try to go find. I, I don't have moving water where I am. The lake isn't moving, per se. Uh, the creek, the rivers that we have around here in the summertime, they're not going to be moving because we're not going to be getting any water. We're not going to be getting any rain. But from what I have experienced there, Team South Florida Fishing, crappie don't like current. I talk about that in several of my videos. Brandon Mobley, new subscriber from Navarro Mills. What's going on, Brandon? Uh, let's see here. David, what's going on, David? He's a channel member as well. Terrell, Texas is in the building. How's it going, man? Norman says he's hoping to get out soon. Go get him, man. Edward Jeffrey says your top five Texas crappie lakes. Wow, that's a good one. Um, We'll start off. Ooh. I mean, we're just going top five crappie lakes, right? I'm going to say number five is going to be. Now, y'all got to think about it. I don't fish some of these lakes. Um, I don't fish some of these lakes all the time. But if I could get to them more, I would. Uh, number five is probably going to be Wright Patman. Wright Patman is a great crappie fishing lake. Uh, number four. It's probably going to be Lake Tyler. Lake Tyler is a great crappie fishing lake. Not Don't go there if you want to break your PB or anything. But if you want to catch some fish for the freezer, Lake Tyler is a, a great place to go. Number three, I'm going to go Lake of the Pines. Lake of the Pines, great fishery right there. Big crappie as well. Uh, number two, I'm going to go Fort. Lake Fork, I don't fish Fork very much, but Lake Fork produces quantity and quality. Um, I need to get out there more. And then number one, I'm going to go Palestine. Palestine is a fishery that has millions of crappie in it. Um, everybody, you know, talks about why do you keep so many fish? I don't fish Palestine all the time, but guys, you're not, you're not fishing out Palestine. I, I, I can guarantee you that. Uh, but those are my five right there. So five, we're going to go Wright Patman. Four, we're going to go Lake Tyler. Number three, we're going to go 
Lake of the Pines, number two, Lake Fork, and number one, Palestine. And I'm sure a lot could, a lot of people could argue to really flip one and two. A lot of people would probably put Fork over Palestine. But since I don't fish Fork very much, I can't put it number one. Uh, Vernon J. What's going on, Vernon J.? Uh, Chicago is in the building. Uh, no greater one. Tyrone, hello from Detroit. How's it going? Tim is in here in the building from Lubbock, Texas. Uh, Dream is here from Alice, Texas. New to your channel. Been enjoying your vids. Thank you so much. Um, don't forget to hit that like button, guys. I'm telling you, be sure to check it out. Carrie says he's from Blanchard, Louisiana. That's awesome. Uh, Jesse is here from Detroit, Texas. Huge town of Detroit, Texas right there. Astro Dreaming is here. What's going on, brother? Uh, Colton says he did see the Mullet Man first, then started to watch you. That's awesome, man. So thanks for hopping on over. Uh, Mike's a good dude, man, over there. Uh, Mullet Man, Mike, is a he's a great dude. Um, got some real good content over there on his channel. He's, you know, he's only about two hours away from me, so I figured we – uh, I would love to get together and fish with him, and we we made it happen. We've been talking, you know, for almost a year or so, over a year, but we finally got together and got to do some fishing. Uh, guys, we're 21 minutes into this live stream. If you haven't, um, go ahead and hit that like button. We need as many likes on this live stream as possible. And also, right now we're going to do prayer requests. If you have any prayer requests, drop them in the comment section. Um Y'all be sure to keep Roger in your prayers. He's already said something. Uh, he's, you know, his chemo. Uh, Y'all be sure to keep him in there. And then if you have any unspoken prayer requests, drop them down there as well. If you don't want to talk about it, but you need some prayers, go ahead and do it. Um, and then updated prayer requests. Drop those down. We are going to uh, get to those when they get in the comment section, guys. Let's see here. My wife has been slaying crappie at the new floating pier in Corpus Christi State Park. Okay, that's awesome right there. Crappie still deep here in Iowa, hovering over structure. Man, if it, if it will finally warm up down there, then you'll be or up there, then you'll be good to go there. Hard in Texas right now because of the weather. The cold fronts push them to about 8 to 12 feet. When it starts to warm up, they should be coming up, but I'm around. But. I'm around Ennis, Texas, says Braden. Uh, first live stream for Stephen Long, Gunnersville, Alabama is in the building. Thanks for being on here, brother. James, how's it going, man? There's Future Miss 903. Y'all be sure to say hello to her. Uh, Tight Lines Outdoors, what's going on? Um, Table Rock, hello again from Table Rock Lake, Missouri. Uh, Tight Lines Outdoors says he subbed. That's awesome. The Side Gig Guru, glad my favorite live stream is on while I work. Uh, let's see here. Hotlines Outdoors says he caught nine slab crappie today in, in my giant pond. Man, I wish I could find a pond that I could do some crappie fishing in. I, I want a pond crappie fishing video for you guys. That's what I want. Um, Aaron says, ever do any crappie fishing at night? We will see. Will we see any videos? What is your setup? I don't do much, man, but I have something in the works over the next couple of, you know, months or so, Aaron, that I'm really trying to do. I want to get into more crappie fishing at night. Um, it's not easy, um, but it is definitely something that I want to start doing. Um, but I have an idea. We're going to see how it pans out. Lexington, Texas is here. Andre Johnson. Appreciate the channel. I've learned so much from you. That's awesome. Um, Two Corn. Yo, I just started watching and also just started fishing for crappie. Love your vids. I have fished for cats and largemouth bass forever. Well, welcome to the crappie family. Let's just put it that way. Uh, Don Tatum is here. Thanks for being on here. Uh, let's see here. Would love to see you and Stell Cracker do a crappie catch and cook collab. <laughs> Man, if I could get a hold of Stell Cracker, that, that would be crazy. Uh, Richard Faircloth Outdoors. How's it going, brother? Always a pleasure. Fly Guys TV is in the building. Um, Tight Lines Outdoors says, how often do you have lives? I pretty much go live every Sunday 
um, every Sunday, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, Tight Lines Outdoors. And, hey, guys, we are 24 subscribers away from that 88,000 subscribers. So if you need to, if you need to text somebody, call somebody, do what you need to do, let's get this channel over 88,000 subscribers tonight. We got about, I would say, about 35 to 40 minutes left on this live stream, okay? And we're already going to do one giveaway like normal. But if we can hit 88,000 subscribers on this live stream, then we're going to, I'm going to double this and we're going to give two people two packs of ACC crappie stick snacks. So we're, we're 24 away, guys. 24 away. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Roger Todd, love your white bass shows. New subscriber. Thank you so much, uh, Roger. Uh, Cadman says, saw you make cover of Life and Land. Congrats. Thank you so much. Uh, Two Corn says, how do I find your jigs? Uh, maybe Hannah can put the Slab City Jigs website down there. That would be great. Uh, SlabCityJigs.com there, Two Corn. Code 903 will save you 10% over there. SlabCityJigs.com. Casey says, huge follower for the Deep East Texas region. Check out Rayburn or Toledo Ben, but can't say that one is a gem if you've never checked it out. I need to check that out as well. David Campbell is here from Depew, Oklahoma. Gary Duggar is here, uh, Lubbock, Texas. How's it going? Uh, NEA bow hunters. I'm seeing a lot of new people on the live streams tonight that I have never seen. So that is great. Just got a lifetime tail, a 10 foot fisherman, and I'm excited to, to get out. That's awesome there, man. Tommy Holland says everybody hit that hit that like button. Uh, please pray for me, says Stacy. Um, I'm having a lot of pain in my foot where they did surgery. All right. We don't want to hear that there, Stacy. But you're definitely being our prayers. I, I really hope, um, really hope you get over that or you find out what's wrong so they can fix it. Um, Sam says he found me through Cole and Jay. Brian is here. Salem, Wisconsin is in the building. Uh, Northeast Arkansas is here. That is what the NEA bow hunters stand for. There we go. Um, yeah, guys, a lot of new people in here tonight. Um, let me see here. 124 watching. Who watched uh, last week's video, guys? Who watched last week's video? A little. A little crappie fishing from the bank video for y'all. Um, I actually made a, a two-day fishing trip into one video. Um, didn't catch a lot of crappie in that video, about six, I think. But, you know, anytime I can crappie fish from the bank, or better yet, anytime I can give y'all some uh, crappie fishing from the bank videos, I really try to do that. Um, I really didn't want to release the video with three catches in it. So I went ahead and went back another day and tried to get some more catches for you guys. Um, but hope y'all enjoyed that one. Um, that, that spot right there is, you know, that's a spot that I have, I've been to in the past and done well there before, but that, that creek, that, that little creek right there just hadn't been producing as much here over the past year and a half two years as it did you know two or three years ago um let's see here will gambler says garland texas in the house really like that really like that you use all right fishing with Braden says you need to come fish with me hey man i want to get over there at some point brother i want some of those those little hybrids and those those white bass man uh I'm telling you, Tommy Holland is in the building. What's going on? Prayer request, please, from Tommy Holland. Y'all be sure to have, have him in your prayers. Uh, Norman says, I would like to send you some hand ties if I can get the address. Um, I'll put the address in here. Now, um, I did get a new P.O. box, guys, after the move. I had to get a new P.O. box. I did update it. I did update it on my, whoa, 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 oh, I just, 
gosh, kind of hard to put it on here because I can't. Uh, let's see here. There is the new P.O. box right there, guys. If you want to send something, great. You know, I love getting things in the mail. Um, I will say this, guys. If, if you do send jigs, you know, if you're if you just want them on video, you need to talk to me prior before you send them and expect to see them on video. Uh, we just got to talk beforehand. Make sure we're on the same page. But Norman, there is the P.O. box. Jonathan is here from Pace, Florida. Um, Edward Jeffrey. Notice you don't have live scope like others on YouTube. Your thoughts on live scope? Well, my thoughts on live scope. I actually posted a video, Edward. You could find that video. I posted it last summer. So I guess it is almost a year old. Um, I give you all of my thoughts on live scope. Why I don't use it, prefer not to use it when I will use it. Um, I, I just give you everything. Um, but my thoughts on live scope are pretty simple. Okay. I prefer not to use live scope while crappie fishing. I want the challenge of not knowing where, you know, crappie fishing with live scope is, how do I say this? To me, it just takes the thrill out of it. It takes the excitement out of it. I don't mind fishing with live scope every now and then, you know, I don't want it on my boat to where I want to where I have to rely on that live scope to fish. There are crappie fishermen that have gotten live scope and they rely on that thing. Some, some will disagree that they don't rely on it, but they do. It's obvious. They can't go out without it. That, that is strictly you relying on that on that technology. Um, I I can't sit there and stare at a screen for hours and hours. After about two, three hours of, of staring at that screen and scoping, live scoping, I'm done. I, I just can't do it all day, every day. Do I think it is superior technology? Yes. Um, do I think you need it for tournament fishing? Yes. Um, I won a tournament. Me and my buddy Matt won a tournament on Lake of the Pines back in October. And we use Lasco every, every single, there was 26 boats in that tournament. We won at first place and every single boat had live scope in that tournament. You need it as a, you know, for, for a fair playing field. Um, I, I, I just can't sit there and stare at that screen all day. I just can't do it. It hurts my back. It hurts my neck. Um, I just can't do it. So, I mean, you know, pretty much in a nutshell there, Edward, that's my scope on live scope. Now I go a little bit way more into detail in that video. Scroll back on my videos, man. It's probably going to be about from nine, eight or nine months ago, somewhere around there. Um, and you'll see it. It says live scope uh, in the title. So you can get more information about what I really think about live scope on there. Uh, what's going on, Kent from East Texas? How's it going? Please pray for my little dog. He has been throwing up. Well. Come on, little guy. I hope he gets better. Tina Ladybug is here. How's it going? Hey, guys, Two Corn has become a channel member. That is awesome. Channel member. That is what I like to see right there, guys. And I'm going to tell y'all, you know, the Dink Crappie membership, y'all, is $2 a month. If everyone could sign up to be a Dink Crappie member, that would be awesome. That would be a major support to the channel and helping produce more content for you guys. Uh, the Hungry Fisherman says, needs prayers for my wife. She goes in Friday to have a section of her lung removed because of cancer. I'm praying for all the 903 families in need. Y'all be sure to have the Hungry Fisherman in your prayers. Wife's, him and his wife in your prayers. Mitch, what's going on, Mitch? What's up, man, from Northwest Illinois? Still waiting for some nicer weather up here. That's awesome. Uh, Gary, praying for your wife, he says, Two Corn says, where are you from? I am around Tyler, Texas. What's going on, Fishing with Sasquatch? 
Deadpool Don, how's it going? Uh, tight line says, last time I won a giveaway was from Sunfish King. I won some grub baits, and when I emailed him, he said, I can't afford the baits at the moment. I haven't heard from him. Uh, well, that ain't how this works, man. Anybody that has ever won a giveaway on this channel has received that giveaway, and nobody will comment and say they have. 23 subscribers, guys. We are we got about mm, 25, 30 minutes left of this live stream. And we need 23 subscribers for 88,000, y'all. What other channels do you watch other than 903 Fishing? We're not, we're not going to talk about other, other channels on here like that. Slab City is sold out of hand ties, patiently waiting. Guys, let me see if I can show y'all this text message from Colter. Okay. Now, this was a text message from... I believe this was last Monday, so six days ago. Uh, six days ago, guys. Let me see. It says right there, loaded 53 packs of hand ties last night at 6. By 9.30, they were all gone. I woke up to email saying I thought hand ties were back in stock, but it says out of stock. I'm going to leave that up there a little bit. Look at that. He loaded, guys, Coulter loaded 53 packs of hand ties at 6 p.m. last Monday by 9.30, three and a half hours. They were gone. He's put he, he puts them up there every week. Now, he told me every Sunday, from now on, every Sunday, so he's going to tie throughout the week, and he's going to upload every Sunday, he's going to upload jigs to the website. So tonight, right now, here, let's, let's go look. Let's go look, see if he's got them on. Every Sunday, he's going to start putting, um, he's going to start putting inventory on Sundays. He has that on there. Come on. He had he has he has hand ties on. Look, guys, uh digging with pop. You may want to get on there right now and look. Look, right here. He has hand ties available. It doesn't say out of stock. There you go. Look at those. Look at those hand ties, guys. The Granger Ghost right here. Whoa, whoa, where's the Granger Ghost at? The Granger Ghost. That's Razzle Shad. Anyway, uh, this one is a good color as well. Look at that. Beautiful. Gosh, beautiful. Uh, he So he has some hand ties on there right now. I don't know when he uploaded them. I don't know how long it's going to be, but they're on. They are on and they are ready to go, guys. So he has some. They say They all say in stock. Go get them. Go get them. Uh, tight line says coming in from Greenbrier, Arkansas. First time watching your live stream, Deadpool. Thank you for being on here, man. Salvador says, Hey, what up, 903? I'm in Tyler. I just found your channel like two months ago. That's awesome, man. Thanks for being on here and the support. Did you get your boat fixed when it about sunk? Yes, boat's been fixed for a long time now, guys. I had that boat fixed in a week. Well, I didn't have it fixed, but uh, gotta have the boat, so it was fixed. All it needed was a well job. John Redding says, hello, 903 family. Joining a bit later tonight. Been out working in the garden. Prayers for everyone. Thanks for being on here, uh, John. 22 subscribers. Uh, Bob Davis, how's it going, Bob? A lot of y'all said y'all did watch the that, that uh, bank crappie fishing video. And there was a white bass video last Thursday, guys. I know white bass fishing is kind of, you know, out of style right now because of just being flooded with YouTube. Uh, white bass videos just being flooded with YouTube right now. But um, I show you guys when the white bass bite is tough, what you need to do to catch those white bass. And I show you all that in last Thursday's video. 
So if you haven't, do me a favor, guys. Go watch that video after this live stream. That would greatly help me out. I watched some of your videos here lately. I can't remember them all. I just got into crappie fishing. Thanks to you for your videos. No problem. Yeah, let's pray for the banner. I'm going to do something about that this week. Um, Kurt Kent says, how deep are the crappie? Man, I haven't been. I haven't been in over a week, man. They were shout. They were okay the last few times I was out, but I think the crappie are fit, are done spawning right now. I think they're done in East Texas. Now, I'm not saying you can't go find a, a couple of shallow or, or find a good little pocket of fish shallow, but as of right now, it's not looking too good as far as the spawn. I think it's over. Will Gambler says he really likes that thump net. Turner Fishing, what's going on, dude? Appreciate you for being on here. Bill Martin is over there in Lindale. David says he bought a 7.6 uh, ACC crappie six yesterday and tried it out today on Lake Gunnersville. Caught several crappie, loved it, and my PC fun, Viper X 1000. That's awesome, dude. That is awesome. Uh, Victor, I want to thank you personally, 903 Fishing. Thanks for all the knowledge you give us in your videos. I've been able to catch more crappie this spring. That's why I do this, y'all, to help you guys out. That's why I do it. That's awesome to hear that, man. Uh, Ricky, Mr. Ricky, went to Walmart, got your setup, tried it out, and the slip knot got deeper each cast. I either didn't get it tight enough or that's part of it, but did catch fish, so love it. Hey guys, a lot of the people that I have that have messaged me recently about the slip cork setup, um, they they tell me that their their uh, bobber stop is slipping, and the very first thing I ask them is, "Are you using braid or mono?" And a lot of the times, people are using mono. That slip that uh, slip bobber, excuse me, the uh, bobber stop does not cinch down to mono very well. So Ricky, if you're losing if you're using mono as your main line, that could definitely be the problem. If you are using braid and it's still slipping on you, then your knot can't be very tight. And I mean that's about the only other thing I got, man, is that that your knot can't be very tight. Uh Mike says, man, I agree with you a thousand percent on the live scope. Uh, Jermaine is here. Jermaine from Dallas, Texas. What's going on? Wesley Harden says, do you ever fish for trophy catfish? If so, what's your favorite cut bait for it? I don't fish for catfish much. I do plan on doing a little bit more catfishing for you guys, but um, cut shad, cut shad or cut buffalo, cut carp. Um, if you want to catch eater catfish, then stink bait, worms of that nature is going to be the best bait for you. But if you want to catch bigger catfish, then that is when you want to go to the cut shad, cut buffalo, cut carp, or for alps. If you want to catch a flathead, then you want to go to live bait. Um, that's just how it is. That's just what those that's just what those bigger catfish prefer. Sam says, not a fan of live scope. I like to fish the old-fashioned way. Yo, crappie fishing tips, what's happening? I like to fish without knowing where the fish are. Yes, yes, yes. Yep, just posted. There you go. Uh, Gary, what's happening, man? Arlington, Texas is in the building. How's it going, Carl? Scott is here from Mount Vernon, Texas. Uh, no Greater says white bass here in Michigan. Uh, let's see here. Put a green screen behind you, and you can put whatever you want as your backdrop. That is true, Russell. That is very true. If you had pick mono versus fluoro and not braid, which one you going with? Mono. I've never liked fluorocarbon very much. I just never have. I need to get out there on that water Sasquatch. Have you or anyone in here heard of or have used McCullough tackle? He makes himself really unique jig heads, one of a kind, best I've used as far as not having to cut line and retie. I have not heard that. I'm not, I've not heard of that one. 
Uh, Bob says, caught about 30 rainbow trout at Elder Lake yesterday morning. Ultra light and number 10 hook with a current with a kernel of canned corn. Kept my limit clean and in the freezer. That's awesome, Bob. Uh, Big Daddy, what's going on, man? I want to echo the guys saying they've learned so much from you. Thank you so much from Michigan. I appreciate that. I really do. Um, I'm a white bass watcher. I need to watch more of your white bass videos. Tried some that was bled out, and it was much better than my previous experience. Very good, much cleaner tasting. Yes, there is a way to eat white bass. It, um, It's just not as clean meat, guys. It's just not. You have to prepare it a lot. You have to do things to it to prepare it more. You know, crappie, you don't have to do jack to crappie. It just tastes good. Um, but, yeah. Everyone hit that like button. Number four pound line with bobber stop and small crappie magnet bobber. Uh, just like you show them. That's awesome there, Bob, on them trout. That's what I'm talking about. When is the crappie sticks line coming out with their copolymer line? That's a great question. It should. I would say it's in the next month, if I had to guess. It's in the next month. Um I can try to get a better estimate on that for you guys here pretty soon, but um, I would say within the next month. Hello again, 903 fam. Just now making it here, helping his mom move into the new house. Well, no problems there, Joseph. I appreciate you for being on here, man, and good seeing you this, this weekend as well, dude. White bass are going crazy in St. Clair, Michigan, he says. Uh, Fishing with Brayton says, I soak my white bass in water for a few days. And it takes most of that bloodline out. I'd put some salt. Well, what I'm doing with white bass, I haven't ate white bass in a long time, guys. But I ate so much of it years ago and did practice so much with it on soaking it in this, soaking it in that, cutting that bloodline out and all this stuff. What I do with my white bass is I soak them in 2% milk. You can even soak them in buttermilk. Uh, we're talking hours we're talking eight hours soak them for eight hours and two percent milk first rub some salt in there on them fillets salt and then um yeah rub some salt on them and then soak them in two percent milk for eight hours before you eat those white bass it's life-changing for those white bass i'm telling you uh what about getting fans to send you a backdrop? Change it out every week. That would be a hoot to see your banner up. That would be crazy right there. Uh, that would be wild. When's the giveaway? It's coming really quick. Hey, guys, if you want to see a 903 fishing teaser, put 903 in the comment section. Y'all know when the hat goes backwards. Hat goes backwards. It's teaser time, baby. Teaser time, baby. Um, I'll, I won't purposely go try to find yellow bass. The yellow bass are just in the creeks and rivers with those white bass. So I'll catch them. They're fun, but I would definitely rather catch white bass. Better fight. Have you tried to fly fish for big slabs? It's underrated as a finesse technique for finicky crappie under 15 foot. No, no, no. I don't, I don't do any fly fishing, my man. Not here in Texas. I don't know anybody that does. Colton, I'm headed out tomorrow morning just to wade for crappie. Hope they're still up shallow. I do too, man. I hope they are. Andre says, do you do guided trips? I do guided trips. Um, guys, if you're interested in a guided trip, you need to go follow the 903 Fishing Facebook page. That is where I'm going to be doing all my booking from uh, for June and July. I'm going to start booking in June and July in May. Okay. The dates are going to go fast. They're going to go. When I posted a, a, a post about who, who would be interested in a, a guided trip, I had about 100 messages from that one post. And guess what? I'm not running 100 trips in two months. That's literally physically impossible. Um, I'm going to be running two to three trips per week. So when I put out on Facebook that I am booking for June and July, they are going to fly. They're going to go. Um, first come, first serve, like always. 
and I am requiring a $50 deposit for the trips. Um, your trip will not be booked until I receive that $50 deposit. So if you and another person are fighting over a date, I mean, I'm going to give the person who messaged me first the opportunity to pay that deposit and I will give them a deadline on when. And if they haven't done it, then whoever sends that deposit first is going to be able to do it, is, is going to be able to get it. Waiting on them to put it on the market. Got some suffix nano braid, four pound. Yeah, that. hey guys, this ACC crappie sticks line is nice. It's very nice. All right, 903, here we go. I'm starting to hear that, Mr. Ski. I don't even know where that lake is, man. I really don't even know where it is. Let's see here. Um, I have eaten yellow bass there, uh, David. Um, do you not remember? I, I got to show you this now because I, th I thought you would have watched this video, David. <clears throat> if you... David, if you search, literally, this is what I just searched on YouTube. Yellow Bass 903 Fishing. The first video to pop up. Look, good as crappie question mark. Yellow Bass Catch and Cook plus White Bass Fishing. That video is a year old. Right there. Catch and Cook. White Bass or Yellow Bass, excuse me. There's also white bass fishing in that video, but I cook catch me and Hannah actually uh, clean and cook those some yellow bass. And I give you my opinion. I really do. Oh, and the award for first super chat of the night goes to. Richard Faircloth Outdoors. What's happening, brother? Thank you, man. Really appreciate it. Uh, he says, keep up the good work. I enjoy all your videos. First super chat of the night. God bless you, dude. You know what you gave? Just go straight back to the channel. Uh, fishing equipment, filming equipment, shipping giveaways. You just help produce more content there, Richard. If you would like to donate to the channel, all you got to do is hit that little money sign, bottom right-hand corner, and you could send a super chat or a super sticker. Don't forget to put a comment in there, just like Richard uh, did with his. But these donations, they really help produce more content for you guys. Because of super chats and donations, the channel was able to put, guys, I put out eight content videos in March. Now, that may not seem like a lot to some of you guys. Some of these other channels are putting out 10, 15, 20 videos, but I don't do this full time. It's a full time job, but I don't do this full time. Okay. I am a kindergarten through fifth grade physical education teacher. That is my full time job. I do YouTube and social media on the sides. I love it. Uh, it and like I said, it is a full time job in itself, but I, you know, I can't just put out video after video after video, but with the extra donations and super chats i was able to put out more content for you guys in march so we'll see how april's looking but thank you so much richard um depending on the trip i typically do not film my guide trips typically that's that's tough that's hard not only do I have to worry about putting people on fish, but I gotta I gotta worry about filming and, and doing all that. That that's just really tough. Um, all right, guys, let's uh, let's see what this teaser is about. All right, guys, y'all know me. I'm gonna show this to you guys two times. So I'm gonna play it once, and then it's gonna I'm gonna play it again. 
What's going on, family? This video is sponsored by Slab City Jigs. Be sure to go to slabcityjigs.com. Use code 903 to save you 10% off of your order. Whether you're fishing the main lake or in the creeks or the rivers, these jigs will absolutely catch crappie. Y'all be sure to stick around and see them in action. Y'all stay tuned. going on youtube this is 903 fishing welcome back to another episode i know i always say i have special episodes but guess what this is a very special episode i got the one and only papa 903 right here and guess what guys he has never been waiting for crappie and you know what today is going to be the perfect day to do so we are actually done fishing we have wrapped up the day and i tell you what guys we started catching so many fish that i forgot to film an intro What's going on? Creeks or the rivers? These jigs. There he is. Got him. There's an old. Oh my gosh. <laughs> What's going on YouTube? This is 903 Fishing. Welcome back to another episode. I know I always say I have special episodes, but guess what? This is a very special episode. I got the one and only Papa 903 right here. And guess what, guys? He has never been waiting for crappie. And you know what? Today is going to be the perfect day to do so. We are actually done fishing. We have There we go. Sorry, Mike was muted. Um, there's that video, guys. I hope y'all are ready for that. Um, please, that ought to be a good one. Yeah, it is a good one. Um, it's going to be a very good one. I got several of Papa 903's um, uh, videos, or excuse me, I got several of his catches on film as well. Um, but I hope y'all are ready for that one. Tuesday, 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. That one is going down, okay? Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this up on there. Let me see. Let me do this. Share screen. Um, oh, and before I do that, guys, before I do that, I've talked to you guys about this in the past. One thing that really, really, really helps, okay, is how long you watch the video. It's a 37 minute long video. I get it. It's going to be a long one, but it's going to be a good one. I need you to watch as many or I need you to watch that video as long as possible. The more you watch, the better. OK, longer watch duration, the better. And I'm going to tell you why. When YouTube sees that my subscribers are watching longer, they are more likely to push that video out to new people. OK, that is how we grow. When when these videos get actually get put in front of um, new people, that is how we grow. So watch that video, all videos, watch them as long as possible. If you can't watch, if it, if, if it comes out and you can't watch it for very long, you know, later in the day, whatever the case may be, come back, watch that video all the way through for me. It really, really, really helps, guys. Watch them for as long as you can. That's why I try to have all my videos action packed. I, I mean, 
I really tried to do that for you guys. Um, here we go, guys. St uh, stream uh, yard giveaway tool right here. Um, hashtag road to 70, uh, 75. What? Road to 100K right here, guys. Put that into the comment section. I'm going to go ahead and take this time to, to go ahead and look at some of these comments. Um, let me see. Storm Storm Thurmond, probably not saying that right. Huge reservoir, Georgia, South Carolina, just north of Augusta. The water has big stripers, spotted whites, all catfish, and the average crappie that don't fit plastic measure. Dang, man. Well, that's a long ways away from me, man. It really is. Um, that is that's crazy that you can't find any crappie on it or can't find many. Um, yeah, Steven, go check out that that video, my man. Uh Vashon King says, Man of God, PE teacher, and good crappie fisherman. Why I like and follow this channel. Glad I found it. I really appreciate that. I really do. 17 subscribers away, guys. I don't think we're we're not going to be able to give away the, the second. We're not going to have two winners tonight. It looks like we're just going to have one. We are 17 subscribers away from 88,000. I don't think we're going to hit it tonight, but that's okay. Like I said, it is okay. Joe Banda is here in the building. Casey, Casey Thompson, I got you, brother. $5 super chat. God bless you, man. Thank you for what you gave. Go straight back to the channel. Fishing equipment, filming equipment, shipping giveaways. Giving you more of the content that you love. Thank you so much there, Casey. Uh, you just helped produce more content, man, my man. And I really appreciate that. I really, really do. So thank you for the super chat there, Casey. Bumblebee Tuna, how's it going? On your jig rod when you weighed, what reel are you using? The lightweight one? Need to go get one soon. I am just using a cheap fly fishing reel. Bob, cheap fly fishing reel. PC Fun actually has a fly fishing reel that I will be using next year, but that didn't happen this year, but it's okay. Uh, any boat mechanics near Cedar Hill? I don't know where Cedar Hill is. Road to 100K. We got them on here tonight. 130 people on here right now. Uh, got on a few crappies Saturday, says Craig. What's going on, Craig? Thanks for popping in on me. Really appreciate that. Let me see. All right, guys, we got 71 entries. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all about one more minute or so to really put that hashtag in there. Road to 100K. Oh, Cedar Hill, Texas. What are you winning? You're going to be winning two packs of ACC crappie stick snacks. We got the hammered, which is the black and chartreuse plastic jig right here. Then we have the old faithful, uh, which is basically a monkey melt color. One of my favorite ACC crappie stick snacks right here. These are 1.75 inches long. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to it. All right, guys, we're drawing it. Who's winning the two packs of ACC crappie stick snacks right here? Gary Isabel. How's it going, Gary? You are the winner, brother. I'm going to put my uh, email in the in the comment section here. 222 at gmail.com. Kayla Pinsley222 at gmail.com right there. Shoot me an email. And guys, if you do have any questions of that nature, you can always send me an email as well. Um, let's see here. I enjoy your videos. When water warms up above 60, your orange brush mark method is killer. It's pretty spawn and everyone, it's post-spawn, and everyone is having problems finding schools of crappie in it. It's pretty much spawn. Um Man, Mr. Ski, I, what's your water temp? Y'all should be in spawn over there, man. If you're not, you should be really close. Or you should be in pre-spawn. 
pre-spawn, I would look at bridges with channels that go underneath them. I would look at structure close to spawning grounds, anywhere from six to 12 feet of water, um, anything of that nature. Standing timber that is close to spawning grounds. Uh, Ricardo, found your channel a while back, started watching from the OG videos up to the latest one. Love the growth, brother. Keep it up. It's great to see videos that are related to our area. That's awesome, Ricardo. Where are you at, Ricardo? Ricardo, you that close to me, man? Don't go kick your dog. Don't do that. Hit me up, Braden. Hit me up, Braden. All right, family. Hey, great live stream once again. Like always, guys, uh, every Sunday night we do this, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. I love getting on here and talking to you guys. Um, Gary, I put my email down there, man. Here it is again. There's my email, Mr. Gary. Shoot me an email, Gary. Claim your prize, brother. Um, I'm going to get off here for the night. Casey Thompson, thank you so much, man. Uh, I'm going to get off here, guys. Really appreciate all the support. Liking, sharing, commenting, all of it. Y'all are awesome. Wait till we get to this 100,000 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. Um, I have a headache. I got to get off here for the night. So, Y'all have a blessed night, a uh, blessed week, and I will see y'all next Sunday. Be sure to have that subscribe button hit and that notification bell so you do not miss any future content. Tuesday, 1030 a.m. Central Standard Time. Y'all be watching. Y'all have a great week. God bless. 903 out.